too. Yeah, it's, you can get a pretty good. Like I think I can see most everything right now, and you're not blocking it. Starting this at 11:23, we missed a few first few minutes of lecture, so hope you like reading the book. Two 
<laughs> Listen, jerk. Alright, we've got the edge of the rim and this point right here. We're going to spin it around one time, two pi. Let's see who gets back to this point first. Okay. <laughs> Same time? Still not convinced, right? Which one has the fastest speed? Okay. You want to hear something really cool? First of all, this. This is a time lapse photo from the International Space Station, um, taken this year. And uh, what you see is the Earth. And lights on the surface of the Earth. And what are these spirally things? Stars. 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 Why are they all streaky? I don't know. They're spinning. Because the universe is working. Uh, <laughs> 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 um, Why are they spinning? <laughs> yeah, no. Because the Hubble is spinning. The what? The space is spinning. Yeah, yeah uh, well, with respect to the stars. Yeah, because yeah. 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 uh, the space we would also see the Earth spinning too. Around. If the space station was doing this, you'd see a big blurry streak of the Earth in a circle around it, right? But you don't. Like, it, it's in a fixed position on the Earth like this, but it is spinning with the Earth. And so, with respect to all these stars, it's spinning. Um, now, this is just, I, I put this up here A because it's cool and it circles and it's circular motion, so I wanted to show it to you and be like, look, it's science. Um, but I wanted to talk about something that's very fascinating um, that I didn't learn until I started teaching science. Uh, did you know that what you observe is not speed? When you see someone walking by, you're not observing their tangential velocity. You are observing their angular velocity. Think about this one. If you see a plane flying really far away, is that plane going uh, slow or fast? Fast. Pretty pretty fast, yeah? But you'd be like, oh look, plane. Right? If that plane was like two feet off the ground, it'd be like, plane! <laughs> same plane, same speed, right? But when it's really close to you, it seems to be moving faster. Because what you observe is angular velocity, not velocity. Look. Oh, my Angular velocity is V over R. If something is, yeah. If something is uh, really far away, right? It's got a fixed speed. It's not going to be equal. Sorry. And that means it's got a really small angular velocity. If something is really close, it's going to have a really big. Angular velocity. This is a term in physics that you're more familiar with than almost any other term we study. Yes, sir. So it's like we are the center of a circle, and everything we observe is a certain. You are the center of your own universe. universe. Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah. David. David. Uh, like, I get pulled over for speeding. Like, uh, uh, can I bring that argument up? Like, uh, it's been done. Ooh. A physics guy got out of a uh, stop sign running ticket. No way. We're going to read the article um, later on, probably next week. I've got he he submitted a formal paper. He got out of the ticket. What? Yeah, Where was this knowledge two weeks ago? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, why, yeah. See, yeah. that's why. That's why. Yeah. See, if yeah. a cop, well, yeah. it's it's different with don't radar, like but yeah. If you just say big words to them, they don't think you have to take it. No, and so he he published the report, and I have the printed out version. And there's a couple errors in the report because he didn't want people just like going and using it. He wanted them to understand physics that they wanted to use it, so they'd have to change his report to make it true. So we're gonna read it, try and find the errors, and talk about it. Oh, what a smart guy! I uh, know. I just feel like you guys get out of my knowledge. It's not like just saying that. Which one? I know he wrote a paper. Where was this knowledge two weeks ago? It wouldn't help. Sir, yeah, you, you were SRL. That was so you're done. Why not? Um, well, think about this. If a radar gun, if, if you're speeding past, like right here, right? You're going this way, radar gun, bing, dings you right there, hits the side of your car, and then bounces back to the gun. The radar gun has no idea if you're speeding or not. 
Right, that's good. It's because the car wasn't moving toward, there was no yeah. component of the velocity, because the car's going like this, no component of the velocity that, I guess for lack of a better word, distorted the, the waves that bounced back to the radar gun. Right. right? It just hit the surface and bounced back. So he's going to get the speed that came off the gun. Right? It's going to be the speed of zero. Um, so as the angle to the approaching car increases, the speed you're going is going to increase as well until you're facing the car, and that's when you're going to get you're going to measure them going the fastest. Right? right? The more of an angle he's shooting you at, the more off the reading is going to be. Also, I've had people tell me that they have an accuracy of about plus or minus seven miles per hour. Yeah. All right. Joella? How Huh? That's a that's 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 not really a physics question, but <laughs> like this. <laughs> okay, moving on. More practice. This is the windshield. I mean, lasers are waves too. I think it's more accurate. But <laughs> Go ahead and set this one up on your own. No taco cat spelled backwards, it's still taco. Taco cat. Taco cat. Oh. Taco cat. Oh. Another club with palindrome and no pets. I'm so glad that all of you are so diligent working on this problem because you really care about getting a good grade in this class. Thank you. I was going to start guessing. Acceleration, yeah, because you can't you can't just do this in one step. It's going to be a two stepper. But even before that, with the numbers you've been given, what do you have to do? Convert to. Yeah, you can convert them to per second. Radians per second. Well, technically you can. You're right, and you can do the whole problem in terms of revolutions and still be okay. You can because it's, it radians is a non-unit, so you can get away with that. But I'm just gonna like send a general message out for people who aren't who just like get, might get confused by that. That hey, always convert to radians per second. It's okay that you did that. I'm not gonna pick up points for that. It's not. I approve. Good, good thinking skills. 
It matters later on, Joe. Okay, cool. But these three equations are definitely matter. If you're if you're at all stuck, think of the guess method. Write down your givens, write down your unknowns, write down your equations, show every step. Odd minutes. If you think you have the answer, raise your hand and I will reject it. And then keep on writing down your doing and then solving some of the equations and all the steps. It's a good warm up problem. It's supposed to be pretty good. Guys, what variable is that? Which variable is the number of revolutions? R. That's radius. Omega. Not omega, that's speed. Revolution. Look, listen. If I do one revolution, that's 2 pi radians. One revolution is 2 pi radians, which means that's theta. It's measured in radians. You are looking for theta. Good job. Now that's, yeah. Is it what? And convert that to revolutions. Oh, you got it. Okay. Nope.
get it right. Do you write on your paper. Do not do it in your head. Do not do it in your calculator. Write out your work. Now I can take that number and plug it into one of these. You want to use the top or the bottom? Bottom. Yeah, it's already solved for theta. It's a little easier. So plug and chug, and you should get theta is like 100 and... What is it? What? I got it wrong. How many, how, many, how many radians did you get for theta, Joe? I did you just, just skip the code to the end, right? I, I can go with my calculator. 471.2 yeah. years, man. 471.2 is what I got. Radians. <laughs> but they said, how many revolutions? Yeah. One revolution is equal to 2 pi radians. If you need to set up a bridge, but your final answer is 75 revolutions. Um, yep. I would consider that easy. That type of question for the test. Oh. Um, yes, I don't want to do that. Uh, let's, we're ahead on time, so and we'll keep going. And high speed oh, drill? Interesting. It's like I was feeling British when I heard this. An high speed drill rotating platform. Why is it 20 watts at RPM? It comes to all. This is the same question we just did. We'll do this one instead. A wheel rotates with an angular acceleration given by that equation. Where t is in time and a and b are constants. 
if the wheel has an initial angular velocity of omega notch, uh, write expressions for the angular velocity and the angular position of a wheel as functions as a time. Is that Oh, uh, that's a cube right there, that's a square right there. This problem shouldn't take you more than a minute and a half. Let's go. Seriously, this is easy. Theta naught is usually zero. <coughs> yeah, calculus. Yeah. It's just a little bit more real. Oh, it's the next problem, not this one. <coughs> the pendulum shown is at its maximum displacement from equilibrium. At this point, is omega positive, negative, or zero? Mm -hmm. And then at this point, is alpha positive, negative, or zero? Make sure the people around you agree with what you just used. Which direction will the vector be pointing? Well, 
right? It, it'll be, well, counterclockwise is not a direction for the vector, right? It'll be so it's going to be spinning counterclockwise, which means it'll be pointing out of the page.